All right, everybody, we're making mead today. This one right here is about a year old. This is super easy. I'm tired of everybody telling me I have the best mead in the world because it's so easy that I feel bad for taking compliments. So we got lukewarm filtered water here. I mean, I guess it doesn't have to be filtered. It probably needs to be non-chlorinated because you're wanting to get uh, like a yeast environment in here and you don't want the chlorine to kill off uh, your microbes that are actually gonna make your mead. So I'm doing one part honey, three parts water, and I just put this honey in the water and I stir it up. All right, let me, I'm gonna put some more water in this, shake it and then fill it up a little more. This is local, raw and unfiltered honey. Make sure you use good honey for this. Don't use that cheap crap from Walmart. Just cut with sugar or whatever. And it's, and it's been pasteurized. Yeah, you want, what is it, cold? Cold filtered? Raw, unfiltered honey. Yeah. Got all the honey out of our jar. You gotta quit. I'm just gonna stir it till it's dissolved. Quit, little kitty. I'll put a link in the description to these jars right here. They come with these airlocks, which is going to go on the top. And this is one gallon, and I poured, like we said, it was one part honey to three parts water, so it's just four quarts in a gallon. This is your one quart of honey, and then you just fill it up the rest of the way with water, basically. All right, so we got it stirred up real good, and that is all you need to do. Basically, um, if you're starting this fresh, you put the airlock on it, and you stir it twice a day for two weeks. Make sure your airlock's on good. Twice a day for two weeks or until it starts fizzing like crazy. Um, we're gonna speed that up because we have this old mead right here. This is about a year and a month old. I think we made that September 20 something, 2021. So what I'm gonna do to speed up the, I guess you call it like inoculation process or something, I don't really know. But there's, we're using the yeast in here that's already present in here to inoculate this mead. As I said, this is not a necessary step. You can just stir it every day for a while and it'll just naturally get yeast from the air and the honey itself. We're just doing this to, we're only gonna have to stir this for like four or five days now since we added that. We're just gonna stir that in. I wanted to lick the spoon, but I held myself back. Also, this jar is not sanitized or anything. I just washed it with really hot water. And dish soap. That was it. I am gonna put this in a room temperature dark place. We just keep it above our fridge. Um, and as I said, I'm just gonna stir this in the morning, in the evening, until it, it'll start fizzing up like crazy and you'll be able to notice it. And that's what you'll be looking for when you stir it. It actually fizzed a little bit already because I added this older stuff in here. But uh, yeah, it'll it'll fizz like that. If, you, if you're just doing this fresh, it'll, it'll take about a week and a half to two weeks before you start getting any fizz. And once it starts fizzing up a good bit, you can just let it sit in that cold, dark place. If mead's not really any good, in my opinion, at least till it's like eight months old. People can, do drink it at six months, but it's extremely sweet at that point. Um, I like it when it gets to about a year. 11 months to a year and and over i've only drank the oldest meat i've ever had is actually this one I, I think and it's a year and one month so and it's really really good pretty sweet it's not dry at all Every, like i said everybody compliments my meat and i'm like it's so easy just make it yourself another thing i got this this recipe from artist as family they have a video um making mead like a neo peasant I'll put that, that video in the description. I'm, I'm basically copying them. Once you have the mead and you got it where you like it, 
Uh, it's just honey mead. It has no flavor. I mean, it, it tastes like honey, basically, like carbonated honey a little bit. It's not super carbonated, but it is a little bit. Um, and if you want to flavor it, you can do something like I did here. I actually don't know if this is going to work. I'm making a video of this as well, but it's passion fruit and Carolina allspice in here. And I put this in here two or three days ago. And when I want to flavor the mead, I put the fruit in here. Ideally, I would actually put more fruit than this. It'll I would put fill it up like halfway with fruit, and then I I kind of turn this upside down like that every day for about two weeks, and it it will get the flavor in the mead. I've done apple cinnamon flavored mead, blueberry, blackberry. Um, I've done a lot of different flavors, and it's it's really good. But I like it honestly. I really like it just plain as well um but yeah that's another way just in case you want to flavor it you can you can have a little recipe i've heard of people doing cucumber and mint people do that crazy thing so try some stuff i've tried persimmon it wasn't very good so yeah try out some some stuff with that make sure there is water in your airlock some people forget to do that but you need to have water in the airlock and make sure you label it as you can tell, I've used this top a lot. What's today's date? Uh, and sometimes I like to like add the type of honey I used and everything, so you can you can do that as well if you if you feel like you need to. This is where I keep all my mead back here. Those are my friends' crappy beers they left over here. But yeah, there's all the mead back there. I got three gallons. I'm just gonna add this up there. While I'm making meat over here, Taylor is making a Hungarian honey mushroom soup. This is the meat like four days, five days in guys. I've been stirring it just about twice a day, every day. Look how much it fizzes up now. Look at that. Now it's ready. That's actually too ready. Whoopsie daisy. It actually went up into the airlock, so I'm gonna wash this airlock out. I shouldn't have done that. Whoops. All right. Now all that's left to do is to put it up in a cool dark place and forget about it for a while. That's it for today's video, guys. Hope y'all enjoy it. Cheers. Bye-bye.